Hey everyone, how's it going? In this video, we're going to work through an example of finding the perimeter of a sector. The problem states, the wiper on the rear window of a particular car moves through an angle of 5 pi over 6 radian in one single sweep and clears a region that is 16 inches wide as shown in the diagram below. So what we have to do is find the total perimeter of the cleared region to the nearest inch. So if we take a look at the area, at the area that's actually being cleared, it looks a little like this. So we have that little piece cut out here, which is grayed out. And then we have this bottom piece. So what you can imagine this looking like actually is let's say we had uh, two concentric circles and concentric just means they have the same center. So let's say the center is right here. And what it would look like is something like this. You can see that this shape is actually similar looking to this shape. So um, what is that going to look like? Uh, or how do we find out what that perimeter is? Well, that's just going to be this length plus this length plus this piece of the, cir cir uh, the small circle circumference plus this piece of the big circles circumference. So let's do that. Um, in the problem here, they say that this distance right here, this part, is 16. So both of these are going to be 16, actually. And now all we have to do is find out what this length is and what this length is. And in order to do this, we're going to have to figure out uh, what the uh, formula is to find the length of an arc, which is what this is. So to do that, let's try some intuition. Let's say I have a circle whose circumference is equal to, um, I don't know, 20. Now, if I have a quarter circle, then does it make sense that uh, the length of this arc is going to just be a quarter of this total circumference? Because it's going to look a little like this. Well, hopefully that does make sense. So this circumference is going to be 5. Now, let's say, for example, that I have a slice of this circle that is 10 degrees. So it looks something like that. Well, what would the length of this arc be then? Um, in order to figure this out, we have to compare the degree measures. So this is 10 degrees, and what's an entire circle? Well, an entire circle is 360 degrees. So what fraction of 360 is 10? Well, that's just 10 over 360, or 1 36th. So Likewise, the length of this arc is going to be 1 36th the length of the entire circumference. So it's going to be 20 times 1 over 36, or 20 over 36. Now, what we just found is that we can actually use the angle that we're given to find the length of the arc if we know, the, if we know what the total circumference of that circle would be. So if we focus on this uh, little circumference, or this little arc first, what's the radius of it? Well, it looks like the radius is 4. This tells us right there. So we have a circle with radius of 4. And what's our, uh, and what's our angle? Well, our angle is just this 5 pi over 6. So we have to find out 5 pi over 6 is what part of a circle? So we're going to do the same thing. 5 pi over 6 divided by, well, how many radian are in a circle as a whole? Using our knowledge from trig, we know that answer is 2 pi. So I'm going to rewrite this as a multiplication problem. It's going to be 5 pi over 6 times 1 over 2 pi. Pi's are going to cancel. And I'm going to get 5 over 12. So this is 5 twelfths of the circle. So what's the circumference of this entire guy? Well, that's just 2 pi r, or 2 times 4 times pi, which is 8 pi. Now, um, to find 5 twelfths of that, I'm just going to multiply. It's going to give us 8 pi times 5 over 12. It's going to give me 40 pi over 12. And since they ask for the nearest inch, I'm going to approximate pi as being 3.14. So 40 times 
3.14 and divide that by 12 gives us around 10.46. So I'm going to say that's 10.5. Now we're going to do the same thing with this larger arc right here. So what would the radius of that be? Well, you might say it's 16, but it's actually, if we're taking from the center, it's the 16 plus the 4. So that radius in total is actually 20. So now we have a circle with radius of 20, and we're going to run through it the same way. The angle is the same, 5 pi over 6, so now all we have to do is find the circumference. So circumference is equal to 20 times 2 times, uh, times pi. It's going to give us 40 pi, and we're going to find 5 twelfths of that. So 40 pi times 5 twelfths gives us 200 pi over 12. And once again, we're going to approximate that. It's going to be 200 times 3 uh, times 3.14 divided by 12. That's going to be 52.3. Awesome. So now what do we have? We have this 10.5 plus the 52.3. And we have the 16s that we found right at the beginning. So that's going to be another 32. So if we add those up, what do we get? We get 10.5 plus 52.3 plus 32 gives us 94.8. And um, they, round, they want it to the nearest inch, so we're going to round that up to 95. Let's see if we have any answers that are similar to 95. Well, what do you know? We do. We have answer choice D. I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, happy studying.